Barnet College, New York, 1938. Hello, Marcus. Indy, you're back. Yes, and I have the Cross of Coronado. Wonderful. I know how long you've been looking for that. All my life. Indy, why are you all wet? Don't ask. I really have to get out of these wet clothes. Hi, I'm Indiana Jones. Welcome to my game. You can press F5 at any time to save your game progress. Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome to a brand new series on the channel. This is Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade the Graphic Adventure, which of course was the game which you guys all picked in the recent poll. It um, beat the dig by an absolute landslide victory, so we of course have to play this. Um, and so far, it looks pretty cool. I've never played this game before. I've heard good things about it. Um, I've heard that the sequel to it, The Fate of Atlantis game, is like one of the greatest point-click adventure games ever. Haven't played that one either, but we will be playing that too. Um, so yeah, it looks really quite cool doesn't it we've got the classic interface for the point and click stuff down here um travel i wonder what that is maybe use it as like a fast travel thing maybe i don't know um so let's jump straight in and see what we can do around here um it doesn't really look like we're doing an awful lot in this main area uh, maybe we have to go outside. It's very reminiscent of the interface on a Maniac Mansion, actually. So, that's quite cool. Except we're playing this on the PC, not on the PS4, like I played that one. Um, right, can we... do we... yeah, can we do, like, look and stuff by pressing the keys? No, we can't, so we actually have to click. So it's a classic point and click. There are various treasures and artifacts that I brought back from my expeditions. Okay, uh, why did he walk away? So um, if you didn't know, this game is created, um, you saw the names at the beginning, Ron Gilbert, David Fox, to name two of the guys who are like the godfathers of the point and click adventure game genre really, aren't they? Um, can we talk to this guy? I think we probably can, oh no we can't. So it um, is based pretty much, as far as I know, I've done a little bit of research, obviously I haven't looked at any gameplay or anything, um, but it looks like it is pretty much similar to... Can we not? We can't go that way, I don't think. It looks like it is pretty similar to the movie in a lot of senses. Um, a lot. I think it follows the movie sort of um, story and everything pretty much spot on. So I'll sort of know what to do. I've seen this film a lot of times. I might actually watch it again. Just to refresh my memory. It's a bunch of trophies that the archaeology department has won. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I might rewatch that movie again soon just to give myself a bit of a heads up because it has been a while since I've seen that movie. So, can we open that? We can. Dr. Jones, come with us, please. Now, I'm sure you'll remember this if you've seen the movie. Good morning, Dr. Jones. I hope I didn't alarm you. I'm not used to such unorthodox methods of introduction. I'm sorry if my men inconvenience you. My name is Walter Donovan. I know who you are, Mr. Donovan. Your contributions to the museum have been extremely generous. And I must say, some of your pieces here are quite impressive. Sorry about that bang, I don't know what that was. <laughs> like yourself, I have a passion for antiquities. Have a look over here. You may find this interesting. Okay, take a look. We shall. Early Christian symbols, middle 12th century, I'd say. Where did you find it? In the mountains north of Ankara. Can you translate it? It's, it might be Ankara, actually. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. The top portion of it's missing, but the rest. A spring welling up inside him for eternal life. Through the desert to the canyon of the crescent moon. Where the cup that holds the blood of Jesus Christ, our Lord, resides forever. The Holy Grail, Dr. Jones. It will bring eternal life to whomever drinks from it. An old man's dream. Every man's dream, including your father. He's the foremost Grail scholar in the world today. In any case, an attempt to recover the Grail is underway. 
but the slab's incomplete. You don't know where to look. The slab is one of two markers left by three knights during the First Crusade. The Franciscan manuscript tells of the second marker buried with one of the knights. It suggests that a description of the grail can be found on the way to the knight's tomb. It also says a painting was made of the grail that answers a question my father had. Does the grail actually glow? But it doesn't say where the knight's tomb might be found. Our team leader believes it is in Venice, Italy, and that is where he disappeared. Uh-oh. We'd like you to take over his quest. You've got the wrong Jones. You should talk to my father. We already have. He's the man who disappeared. Dun, dun, dun. Well, that changes matters. We'll have to go and uh, find our dad. So, oh, the travel... So, uh, I wonder if we can use that to travel to... Because obviously, if you haven't seen the movie... I mean, most people have seen it. If you haven't... You can't use it. You've actually got to click open. Um, if you haven't seen the movie, then he travels all over the world. Oh, we can... oh, there's a class in session. Oh, cool. I didn't even try looking in these places. Let's try going in the rooms. Can we, oh, can we use this? Doesn't look like we... Can we turn it on? We actually can. That's pretty cool. Tastes great. That, do you know, that's a nice little touch. Um... Right, so, I wonder if we can travel to different places in the world. That would be pretty cool if we could. I guess we'll find out soon enough. But um, let's try talking to some people. I don't know if we really can talk to anybody. Um, but one thing um, I do... There's another class in session. Okay. I mean, I've heard that there... It's potentially dead ends and game overs on this game, so um, I will sort of regularly save maybe a couple of times an episode just to make sure we don't get ourselves into a situation where we end up losing, because that would be quite embarrassing, wouldn't it? Uh, let's open this door up. Uh, isn't one of these meant to be our office? I think it might be this. Students, students, please be patient. I'm sure Dr. Jones will be back soon. But we've been waiting for him to sign our car our cards all day. I thought it said Karos. Yeah, 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 yeah. What the hell? Irene, what's happening here? Oh, Dr. Jones, I'm so glad you're back. These students are very upset. Oh, God. Um, what do we have to do? Talk to them. So one thing you might notice, um, there's no sort of... Um, background music to this game it was before that really was a thing um it's, well, i mean there's a little bit of it but it's not a, a frequent thing but there are sound effects and that's pretty cool similar to maniac mansion actually um excuse me but i've got to be going out of my way kids just a moment folks i'm sure we can work something out perhaps you should you all should find another faculty advisor just a moment folks i'm sure what are you going to do i was here first uh, excuse me uh please relax i have a solution that's fair for everyone well, as long as there's a fair way. Uh, Irene, take down, down names and I will see everyone in order. I was first. No, it was me. Blah, 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 blah. Wow, look at our office. That won't hold them for long. I'd better not go back in there. Whoa, look at this place. This is pretty neat, right? Ha, <laughs> from Sam and Max. It is Sam and Max. Look, <laughs> nice little touch that. That's really cool. I love the little Easter eggs they do in these games. Um, can we sort of look at some of this stuff? Statues here. I don't know if it will actually let us... These were given to me by a student in Sculpture 101. Okay. Uh, we want to look at this ancient... I haven't finished translating it, but I think it's a warning about aliens in disguises. Okay. Uh, what is this scroll thing here? Totem power. Recover this from a strange Brazilian tribe that worships dogs and rabbits. <laughs> oh, I like it. I like it, Indy. Um, what else do we have? Let's look at this mask. I got this from an African shaman near Kinshasa. I don't know where... Where is that? If anyone knows, let me know in the comments below. I'm sure one of you guys will be bound to know where that is. What is all this crap here? It's just junk mail. Uh, can we open it? 
It's nothing important. Oh, but we picked it up, weirdly. So we've actually got some junk mail here. I don't know what we can do with it, but it's in our invent now. Um, I mean, with these old games, you really have to explore every little part of it. These are replicas of the Sankara stones I recovered about three years ago. I wonder if we should take those. I can't pick that up. Okay. We can't take that. What is this book thing here? There's a medal and a book. I don't need to take this with me. Okay, can we look at this? I won this medal in a boxing tournament. Fair enough. Uh, what about this? No, I can't do anything with the but the map. Let's look at the map. It's a strange map drawn with crayons. Okay, can we pick that up? Uh, it doesn't want to pick it up for some reason. I don't need to take this with me. Okay. Um, it's like a rubber duck or something over there. <laughs> what is this thing? A statue. It's a statue of a thousand-year-old falcon. Ooh, it really means a lot to me. Maybe we should take that with us. What do we reckon? Oh, I don't need to take it with me, <laughs> fair enough. That looks like Medusa's head there. Is it Medusa? I don't even... I, have to, I used this for Halloween when I was a boy. Fair enough. Um, I don't actually... Skulls. I don't know if we're even meant to do anything in here. <laughs> They're just some old skulls. Oh, what's this? What's this down here? Is that the tablet? Oh, we literally can't do anything. I, I bet we have to go out the window. It's a beautiful day today. Uh, there's a hot water heater. It's very warm. Okay. There's a rock. I'm trying to remember what he took from his office in the movie, if he took anything. I'm not sure if he actually did. I think he... Did he go out the window? Yeah, I think he did, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> right, there we go. So we got out of that situation. We can go back in there if we need to. I'm not sure if we're actually going to need to or not. Um, so we can potentially leave this area, right? So I don't know if that's something that we want to do. Let's, let's try... Oh, so we can go to Henry's house, or we can go on the plane to... Vent. That is really cool! I like that we can... What a mess. I wonder what they were looking for. Oh, dear. So we can just go between areas. That is a really cool little feature, actually. I don't see anything special about it. Normally point and click games don't let you sort of jump between areas like that too often. Uh, Monkey Island 2 of course did. Oh yes, I remember these books. I'd just as soon forget them. What did they take? Did they take the tablet? I'm really going to have to watch the movie to refresh my memory a little bit. Maybe that's something I'll do in the coming days. Just so I know a bit more what I'm doing. What is that? Anything in the fridge? I'd rather not. Probably nothing in there but an old egg. Fair enough. Um, chair, books, another chair, a desk. I bet they've taken something from the desk, right? Let's see. Everything that was in it is on the floor. Okay. Uh, can we do anything with these papers? None of these papers on top mean anything. This is more books. They're just a lot of old books. I've read them many times. Okay. Um, bookcase. I don't see anything special about it. More books. More books. <laughs> That's actually called more books as well. Uh, apologies if you can hear that noise in the background. That is a massive boat currently going past where I live. Um, so <laughs> you might get the odd background noise going on seeing as there's no sound effects or background music on the... Well, there's no background music. There's sound effects. So you might hear a bit more than you normally do. Um, we get quite a few big ships and um, cruise liners and stuff go past where we live, so um, apologies for that if it does disturb you a little bit. Alright, let's look in the dresser. And go through Dad's underwear? Never! Okay, fair enough. Yet more books. Painting. Ooh, what's this painting? Looks like the Holy Grail. It's a painting I did when I was a little boy. It's of a trophy my father won. Okay, what's down here? Nothing. Let's look at the bed. Nothing under the bed. Okay, what about this picture on the wall? That looks like it hasn't been touched. 
remnants of her old house in four corners. Can we take that down? No, I'll leave it there. Okay, you do that. Let's uh, look at the windows, shall we? Okay, so I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be looking for here. Something. Hang on, Chuck the plant, what's that? Hi, Chuck. Is there anything we can do with this? I can't pick this up. Fair enough. Right, let's try and leave, shall we? Maybe there's something we need to find in there, a clue or something. I don't want to go to Venice just yet because I've got a feeling we might have missed something here and I don't want to head off to Venice unprepared. Um, like I said, I might have to watch this film actually so I can <laughs> just refer... Oh look, we didn't look at this bulletin board. But yeah, I'm going to take my time to really explore the whole environment for sale. Classic Model T complete with fuzzy dice. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to take my time to explore every little part of this game because I've never played it before. So it might sometimes be a relatively slow playthrough of this game. It's not going to be a speedrun or anything like that. Um, we're not going to fly through it. It's a completely blind playthrough, so um, who knows how quickly I'll get through it. But I'm just going to enjoy it. I'm just going to... Can we go into the locker room? I know you can't pick it up. What the hell? Oh! We can fight. Hi, Dr. Jones. Would you like to spar? Would you like me to spar with you? Uh, go easy on me. I'm a bit out of shape. Let's have a good workout. Let me have it with everything you've got. Uh, go easy on me. Oh, God. What is this? Uh, do we have to do something? I feel like we should be punching. Oh. Game paused, not that. Uh, how do you punch? Uh, I literally don't know what we're supposed to be doing here. Indiana Jones's health boxing coaches. So it it won't actually let me punch or anything. So I'm sort of just <laughs> stood here. <laughs> Uh, game? Can I punch, please? Apparently not. Are we literally just meant to... Oh, God, we're getting bashed up now. I mean, I can't actually click anything, weirdly. Hopefully this isn't a way you can die in this game. <laughs> it, it, I'm, like, clicking everything and pressing buttons, but... It, it won't let me punch him or anything. <laughs> Sorry about this, guys. I literally don't know what to do here. <laughs> Bizarre, isn't it? Oh, we got knocked out. Ten minutes later. Brilliant. Uh, cool. Can we... Uh, there's got to be a way of doing this. I'm just going to press all the keys on my keyboard. Oh, hang on. What? Okay, so that... Oh, it's numbers. Oh, yes, it's numbers. Oh, here we go. Boom. 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 We're just going to stand and trade. Come on. Oh, God, we're losing health. Come on, Indy. You can do it. Yes! Oh, that was close. Okay, ten minutes later. Okay, I wonder if that's like a thing we have to do later in the game. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I think I'll pass for now. We we did that, so... Um, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we have to stay in our smart clothes for now. Um, I'm guessing we probably have to find something at Henry's house before we go on. I'm probably going to watch the movie to see what that is. Um, because, I don't know, maybe we don't. But we definitely don't have to do anything here. I searched everything in that office and the only thing that I could find was um, 
the uh, what do you call it the junk mail and I don't think there's anything else um, I wonder if there's a way we can like push the bed or something too heavy I wonder if there's like can we push the dresser can't move it can we push this bookcase I just want to push the bookcase please Indy can't move it can we push the desk? <laughs> no. I wonder if we can push this bookcase. Push push books. Push that. No. Can we pull anything? Can we pull the desk. Let's see. Can you pull the desk? Everything that was in it was on the floor. Okay, can you pull the bookcase? Oh, you can. What's that? Sticky tape. Okay. So we've got some sticky tape now. Can we look at the sticky tape? It's kind of lumpy. Uh, can we open it then? I can't get the tape open. It's just too sticky. Can we maybe use the sticky tape on the junk mail? That doesn't seem to work. Huh. So we need to find something that will allow us to open the sticky tape in some way. Can we pull it open? Can't get the tape open, it's just too sticky. Maybe we need some gloves or something. Hmm. Okay, well, that seems like a good start. I'm really enjoying this so far. This is really, really cool. I'm so glad you guys picked this because it's um it's made a very, very good start and it's very similar to the movie as well. Um, I'm a massive Indiana Jones fan, so I cannot wait to play more of this game. But for now, we will leave it there. So, as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.